do do do. All right, let's uh. Okay. I guess I won't be needing this. Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Matt and welcome to Hot Wheels Unleashed. Well, uh, for those who know me personally, um, as, as much as I enjoy sim racing and creating sim racing content, every now and again I do want to kind of play something more arcadey. Um, the first couple of videos on the channel were, in fact, uh, Forza Horizon 5 content. And I want to continue that trend of, you know, every now and again throwing in something a little bit fun, something a little bit... Um, that you don't have to worry about physics, well, or in some cases you may, um, but something that's just like joyful and fun and then just lighthearted and low key. Um, so let us begin here. So as you can tell, I've played just a little bit of this game, having completed 27 of 32 time attacks, uh, 47 of 52 races. I've completed all the secrets, so let's just kind of jump into something, preferably something that I haven't completed yet. And then we shall do one of my, f I wouldn't call it my favorite, but definitely my favorite franchise growing up, uh, Synchril from uh, Acceleracers. I could go into way too much detail about um, Highway 50, no, 35, and then the Acceleracers movies and whatnot. But for the purpose of this video, let's just enjoy some... some racing. So starting off the bat, we actually did an okay boost. We're riding on the rails, or riding on the bumper of a... concrete mixer <laughs> truck. <laughs> And since purchasing this game, yes, it is a staggering $50, but in my opinion, like, if this does go on sale within the next six months and it goes on sale for even a couple of bucks, call it like $35, I think it's still absolutely worth every penny. The thing that just jumps out at me is the graphics. The graphics are beyond my expectations for a Hot Wheels game, and... The first Hot Wheels game that I ever played, I think, uh, I'm definitely going to have to do some editing and post on figuring out which game it is specifically, but we had a game for PlayStation 1 um, that had the Metallica feel intro, which was just perfect. And a lot of the Hot Wheels games, I think they took themselves too seriously, where it's like this really gritty racing game in, you know, inspired by the vehicles that you would play with, you know, on the floor or whatever. And I think they did this right. I think uh, Hot Wheels has refound its identity in the 21st century and said, hey, we're a bunch of toy cars, so let's it's meant for kids. It's not something that's supposed to be gritty or uh, or anything like that. It's just a stupid fun game, and they've kept that. They've kept that mentality through, and the thing that I love so much about this is it's just the graphics. It's I want to say that they're using Unreal 5, and the Unreal 5 engine is mind-boggling and it's if we ever get an unreal 6 like that's we've we've hit photorealism and there's we're done but the fact that the hot wheels has included the fact that the more that you've the more racing that you do the more little paint scratches and then fingerprints show up and the fact that you they can make fingerprints show up in this engine it's just i'm in awe But the other thing with this game that, like, even though graphically speaking it's beautiful, the things that I've struggled with a little bit is that you, there's probably, like, 16 tracks maximum, it feels like, and you're just 
rolling through them quite a bit in the campaign. I, I know there's more, probably more than 16, I'm exaggerating, but it's just... It feels like you're playing a lot of the same tracks a bit, which I find interesting because they've got a track editor, so you'd think that when they release the game that they'd want to have 52 or yeah, 52 unique tracks, and yeah, they'll have like four or five different locations, but still, it seems like that they could do a little bit more variety. And their car list, considering that there's been probably ten th tens of thousands of Hot Wheels that have been released ever, uh, the fact that they limited their car list to about, I don't know, 60, 70, something like that, Already it was a little bit limited. I, I knew that they had a lot to choose from, so narrowing it down to that much was a task in its own right. But the thing that I am beyond excited for is that um, I feel like I might be their target audience. <laughs> Apart from the kids' side of things, when they added the Acceleracers in, where it's just like, hey, I grew up with that, and I loved watching the movies, and I had a good portion of the cars and recently I actually had done some digging on figuring out if I could purchase some of the Acceleracers again. I, I still have quite a few in my childhood uh, Hot Wheels box back at home that's got like over 700 cars. But a lot of the paint has been removed from the majority of them, unfortunately. Um, yeah, the one that I wanted was the was Reverb. I think everybody wanted that one and it's currently on sale a secondhand market for $250 and I don't think any one singular Hot Wheels car should be worth that much but you know if the supply is low enough and the demand is high enough then go figure basic economics and it sucks because I've always wanted that car it's such a cool car but even on I want to say this is medium difficulty I'm just wiping the floor with everybody's faces right now which is not typical. Normally, it's I, they've I'd like make a mistake or two, and people would show up, and I'd be back in tenth, and they'd normally be on on my butt the entire time on the back fender, and it's just like eh. this time it's like where is everybody? <laughs> Maybe I did accidentally turn the difficulty down when I was adjusting resolution or something. I don't know. But yeah, the, even though that they have a very limited location setting, I really enjoy uh, the skate park. The I love, 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 love the college campus one because I think every college has got uh, a lecture hall or, or like a main main hall building that's got the same uh, architectural design and and just vibe to what they did on their their school campus map, and it's just. They nailed that one. Um, I also like the construction parks or, or skate park. I think they're one of the same. No, skyscraper and skate park. They're, they're separate locations. Um, but yeah, the, the detail that you see when you saw just there about like the, the, the edges being more silvery due to the lack of paint. I, <laughs> I can't get enough of that. Most of my cars look like that, and I can't get over it how good of a job they've done graphically. But of course, the, the one thing, you know, seeing that last screen, the thing that we have to, have to, have to talk about is the blind boxes. And I mean, it is what it is. I would have. Even with the blind boxes, I don't have that big of an issue with it. The thing that I have the biggest issue about the blind boxes is when you get new vehicles or you've got your limited offers that you can't see. Oh, I need that. You can't see which ones that you have. So you have to you know, go back and forth, back and forth. I think I'm going to have to do a little bit of um, grinding to get that car because I... This... As much as I enjoy this game and the fact that they in introduced the uh, Acceleracers is that they've got like two or three exotic vehicles and that's pretty much about it because you've got 
I wouldn't even call it Mini Cooper, but I love the fact that they added it. It's, it's a favorite of mine. Um, but yeah, you've got the Cohen's egg, and then you've got that Audi R8. 24 hours is, is absolutely amazing, too. But looking through, that's like... I mean, you got your Camaros and your Mustangs, and... That's it for exotic vehicles. It, I should show you guys later and post, you know, what my... Even as an adult, I've got a little shelf on my bookcase that's got like an unnecessary amount of cars on it so yeah i've got this bookshelf that's got an unnecessary amount of cars on it and every time my significant other and myself go to target we'll just pick up some more hot wheels and <laughs> we've got to the point where she's put her foot down and said hey look man you're 25 years old you've got a huge collection just going right here on your bookshelf if you buy more, you're going to have to get rid of some. And to be fair, there are a couple of muscles that I'm not a muscle cars. I'm not a huge fan of that. I mean, could probably go. But yeah, I, I think it's just funny that we even had that conversation at this day and age. Thanks for uh, watching this episode of Hot Wheels Unleashed. If you enjoy this content, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you enjoyed this content, of course, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And uh, make sure to join our brand new Discord server as well. Of course, thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great day today. Take care. Bye.